The foundation of learning is reading. I don't know a smart person who doesn't read and read all the time. The problem is, what do I read? How do I read? Because for most people, the struggle is a chore. So the most important thing is just to learn how to educate yourself. And the way to educate yourself is to develop a love for reading. Read what you love until you love to read. Read what you love until you love to read. Read what you love until you love to read. Read what you love until you love to read. It's that simple. Everybody I know who reads a lot loves to read. And they love to read because they read books they loved. It's a little bit of a catch-22, but you basically want to start off just reading wherever you are and then keep building up from there until reading becomes a habit. And then eventually you will just get bored of the simple stuff. You may start off reading fiction, then you might graduate to science fiction, then you may graduate to non-fiction, then you may graduate to science or philosophy or mathematics or whatever it is. But take your natural path and just read the things that interest you until you kind of understand them and then you'll naturally move to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. Read what you love until you love to read. Read what you love until you love to read. Until you love to read. Read what you love until you love to read. It's that simple. At some point, there's too much out there to read. And even reading is full of junk. There are actually things you can read, especially early on, that will program your brain a certain way. And then later things that you read, you will decide whether those things are true or false based on the earlier things. So it is important that you read foundational things. And the ultimate is when you walk into a library and you look at it up and down and you don't fear any book. You know that you can take any book off the shelf, you can read it, you can understand it, you can absorb what is true, you can reject what is false, and you have a basis for working that out that is logical and not purely just based on opinions. Read what you love until you love to read. Until you love to read. Read what you love until you love to read. Read what you love until you love to read. It's that simple. The beauty of the internet is the entire library of Alexandria times 10 is at your fingertips at all times. of education or the means of learning are scarce. The means of learning are abundant. It's the desire to learn that's scarce. So you really have to cultivate that desire. And it's not even cultivating, you have to not lose it. Children have a natural curiosity. If you go to a young child who's first learning language, they're pretty much always asking, what's this, what's that, why is this, who's that? They're always asking questions. But one of the problems is that schools and our educational system, and even our way of raising children, replaces curiosity with compliance. And once you replace the curiosity with the compliance, you get an obedient factory worker, but you no longer get a creative thinker. And you need creativity. You need that ability to feed your own brain, to learn whatever you want. Read what you love until you love to read. until you love to read.